City Live, a platform to sharing your thoughts. Namaskar, good evening, good afternoon to everyone. As we all know that we people are facing nowadays the condition of COVID. The world is suffering with COVID pandemic. But still our hopes are alive and we people are working. Today on the platform of Event Managers Day, I have two very special guests with me. Raiz Bharti is sitting at France and Ayumi Fujisaki, she is sitting at Japan, Tokyo. I would like to introduce my panelists to you guys. Raiz Bharti is the director of world famous band Dod. We all know about Dod, so uh, saying anything about Raiz is, uh, you know, you already know everything. Ayumi is a very well-known dancer. She is a Rajasthani, I can say, brand ambassador to Japan. She is there and teaching uh, dance to the girls of uh, girls and boys of the Japan. And she is, uh, no doubt, a, an event professional also. So I would like to start with Raiz first. Raiz Bhai, how are you? I am good. Namaste. Kaise hai, Arshad Bhai? Aap? Everything is fine, Raiz Ji. Uh, Raiz, you are doing a wonderful job. We have seen that Europe is starting now and you have started working there. So what is the scene there? Actually, I am so happy uh, that uh, in France, lockdown is open on 19th May here. And we are so we already performed on 19th May for the city of Tours. We was invited to perform officially and we feel uh, much more better. We all are very excited to see a normal life and our concerts are coming soon from July, uh, June. We are going to start the shows. Great, great. And this is the scene only at France and the whole Europe is uh, uh, coming out of the COVID now. Yes, actually uh, France has already started and I think from 6th June, Holland, in June, most of the uh, European countries are coming out from the lockdown. Great, great. That's a great news. We all are waiting for such news. Uh, Ayumi, I would like to come to you. Um, uh, we, we do not know much about uh, the events at Japan. So I would like to know what was the scene before COVID there in our industry? Well, I could say that before COVID, it's most likely any kind of event you can imagine has been happening. But on a real, real state, meaning a lot of the events that we can see now that's changed from before COVID is that everything started to go on live stream. And so what, before what it was what? more live. What, what was usually like, events? What usually events happen there? Any kinds of events you can imagine: concert halls, festivals outside, inside hall concerts, dance events, club events. Everyone who you can think of that you want to see, you can see and just dance together or sit together, like literally physically together. But I, Wait. I can feel. Okay. Did wait, you say wait? Continue, please continue. Oh, oh. continue. I thought you say wait. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we let it. So everything before COVID, all the festivals, concerts, hall events, club events, everything you can imagine was happening. And what is different from now is that everything you can imagine of those events, people were more conjunct and you were literally able to physically feel them, that they're in the same vibe of the events. But now after Corona, it's totally different. As I can say that things has been under control of social distance. So after Corona, everything is not physically live anymore. Everything started okay. to be like, yeah, everything started to be on live stream, like how we are now. But I can say that still we are, we feel more connected too, because we are now together, not withstanding the time zones too. Exactly, exactly. 
Um, I, I will uh, ask Rais now. Rais, we have seen that you have done a lot of social work to the artists of Rajasthan. You have distributed uh, food packets and other kind of help. So, uh, what keeps you motivating? We see you, you know, doing this frequently. Actually, first of all, Ashut Bhai, I want to tell you that I came from this community of musicians. And my whole life is dedicated for the art and culture of Rajasthan. And touring around the world with Dhoot, I'm very connected with the musician because as I'm from this community, I feel very close to them. And I think in this difficult time, we all need to be together and help each other in this difficult moment. And I think it's very important for us. This is the moment to show our solidarity for the, our artists, for our people in our country. So even I'm abroad here, but I'm already, I'm always connected with them with soul and with the heart. And I would do my best to help all these artists. And I would like to mention one more thing that race is not only um, helping at the time of pandemic, this is his habit. He keeps on doing various things because Rais is a good friend of mine as well. He keeps on doing good things. He, whenever he comes to India, he meets people. He distributes, uh, you know, uh, uh, stuff to the needy people. He even uh, gave cash to the artists. So he's, he's basically dedicated completely to the events, to the artists, to the community. We need to more people like you, Rais. Thank you so much. I should like. Ayumi, uh, my next question to you. How do you see we'll come back to the normal life as far as the events are concerned? And how as much I, time it will take? Well, as I mentioned, I can already see everybody started not to wait for the normal life to come back, but more likely to accommodate to the changes of how the world has already changed. It's not that we have to wait until it comes to the normal state again, but it's more like everyone has to change ourselves to create the new. And it's more like a hope for us that it's not that we are the ones to be waiting, but we are the ones to create it. As far as the technology goes, as I mentioned, the live stream has become a mainstream. And I feel that a lot of my friends who are going into this media, they are getting more offers to do live stream for dance shows also. But the difference is that the dancers, we don't have the audience in this stage where we used to have the, the reactions right away of the energies that we emit. And that's kind of thing that we miss. But maybe that's a new way for us to show our expressions of art now, that it's something to do with the message that we present through the live performances that we used to do before. It has to be a collaboration with the media people, that it's really important that we live performers share more messages that we have through our arts to be understood by the media people who do the live streams so that we work together, like the what Rahi said about the solidarity, we have to work together in order to create the arts together. So it's more like we are becoming more closer to each other. And I don't know when this uh, is going to end or when it's going to start. I think it's already started depending on each of us, how we take it. That if we wanna stay positive, we integrate and incorporate the new technologies <laughs> and maybe it's not too hard if we can open our minds to it and just try it so that we can connect with the people all around the world than before when everyone had to come to the concert halls. But now we can live stream to all over the world and we're more likely to be closer globally. Great words, what an answer. I really <laughs> appreciate your, your, the way you think we should all be positive and that is the theme of our event managers this year. We shall overcome. So you, you have narrated this beautifully. 
that is the <laughs> we don't know the how when the pandemic will end but we have to start great words ayubic so how your classes are going on nowadays my classes uh it used to be real real setting in the classes but although the, most of the students work in the companies and as this situation goes more strict by the government um a lot of the people has a restriction to come into the smaller space like the classes of in the studios so i then incorporated to have online classes which a lot of people incorporated and then for me it was okay but it was difficult for the students to understand what is happening virtually to uh digest in their brain which side is right which side is left and so then i decided to do a recording class where i record my dance facing the camera towards the mirror so the cap the camera can capture myself from the behind and then capture myself in the mirror like the real setting in the dance class or what you can say the dance dvds where which you can already find before but then that editing was also done by myself and it was so much work for artists I mean we are live performers we're not the media people <laughs> so it really depends on each personalities if we are able to do that on our own or we ask somebody else but I wanted to try so I I, I actually tried most of all the settings like the live actual settings in dance class studio and the live stream on the zoom dance class but the music will be delayed and in the thirdly i tried with the recording class everything i have offered to my students but it all comes to each of their preferences of what they want and most likely yes for me too dancers we love to communicate in the real setting So it has become a little slow and I hear a, lo a lot from my dance friends that dancer friends that it's really difficult time for all of us if we can't do in a real setting. It's very much to do with the energy communication for dancers as well as for the musicians too I think that it's pretty difficult in order to um really communicate this uh, message and the energy that we have when we're performing. So it is becoming a little slower. It will grow. And you know teacher like you will definitely help it. You are doing a great job. You know the idea of shooting at the mirror is great so people your students can understand left and right. So mm -hmm. my question to you Raiz bhai. Ji, this is going to be the last question. How Ji. we shall overcome in what way? Hey, I am sure that we will overcome, and we have to keep the positive attitude. And for me, I I think there is no doubt. Of course, there is. This is a difficult time will go away if we. Uh, especially, I would like to talk about my country people, for Rajasthanis, for India, if they all keep all the rules and regulation that how we can protect, especially keeping a mask and. keeping the social distancing and of course i don't like to make a publicity for the vaccination but i think we uh, we should do it and and that, that's the only way to protect ourselves for the moment and i'm sure that as in france and europe the lockdown is opening the people are coming in normal life and i think uh, i'm sure that it will come back and we will all hum kehte hain hum honge kamyab तो हम जरूर से होंगे कामयाब और हमारी वापस लाइफ नॉर्मल आएगी मुझे पूरा विश्वास है एंड आयुमी हाउ इज द वेदर देयर बिकॉज आई नो यू आर ऑन अ वेकेशन आई एम एक्सट्रीमली थैंकफुल टू यू स्टिल यू हैव मैनेज टू गिव अस द टाइम यू आर एट अ यू आर एट विद द फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली सो हाउ द वेदर हाउ इज एवरीथिंग एट जापान The weather is fine but I can conclude this as saying that the weather we see actually in the environment it really depends on our hearts how we take it in life. So now that I'm connected to you all and thank you so much for our shout by to um have this setting for us. It really reminds me of how important it is to have the events come back and actually even if we're not physically having the events in life 
we are the we are having the events every day as a life living in life yeah. so if we keep ourselves positive and happy then yes even if it's raining i think it's a happy day and i think that's how we should take it thank you so much i would like to thank both of you raiz and ayumi for giving us time you know there is a time zone time difference but you guys are managing thanks for us i am really thankful to you and i should not uh, forget to mention my friends satyajit and vishwajit both are behind the camera and managing this recording thanks to you all very happy event managers day and don't forget we shall overcome thank you yes wish you all happy event managers day and we all love you live a platform to sharing your thoughts